You ever get the impression this is going to be a tricky video to do before Christmas? Hmm. Hi guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. Another, I'm going to do a review on this. These are the twinkly Christmas lights. While filming, this isn't Christmas. I haven't got a tree up ready, and I am not one of these people who thinks, yeah, because of COVID, the tree's been up all year. I am mad, but I'm not insane. This is a twinkly generation two. It's a 400 LED special edition with the RGBW LEDs. App controlled, any phone. Nicely done. These were, I think the first generation of these were actually reviewed last year by Techmoan and he went through exactly what to do and it was actually a good review, to be honest. I mean, I do watch some of his videos, he's really good at this. I've already been inside this already, that's why the seals are broke. These are expensive. I think they work out about £170, but if they're worth it, and last a long time. I mean, there's some of these Christmas lights that you get on the on the shelves are absolutely shockingly bad. And they'll last one, maybe two Christmases. Hopefully the quality of these should last quite a long time. So, I've got a box in the box. So the full instructions here for strings. Attention. Yeah, different languages, Spanish, Dutch, Russian, Polish, basically telling you to be careful. So I'll scan the app on the phone to download to get these twinklies set up we'll go through the actual app itself choose your connector okay i don't know what connector i've got I've got this one here it's like it's an override button which has a generation two so it's that middle one twinkly music is just a usb dongle which will do music anyway which then makes the yeah these lovely lights go where they were supposed to go yes right so we have a postcard from andrea talanti Okay, hope you enjoy your product, obviously. Some stickers. <laughs> okay, so what I have in here then, let's have a look. We have a big bunch of... Good God, they look good. Nice little um, diffused tops on them. Yeah, these are probably being made, aren't they? Okay, so to get in, how do I get in? All right, well, let's get rid of the box. And there's another box. I like the boxes, don't they? Okay, so my plug socket is stuck in that box. Right, so there's the plug. It's a little Chinese to me. Xiang Yang Electronics Company. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. So the UK, that's why I've got the three pins. Yes. So this will. This should go in one way, so I've got a flat edge at this part here. There's a large flat gap there. Won't go any other way apart from that way. Put it down. If you're going to be outdoors, you need that seal on there. Tighten in. Done. And then let's see what happens when I plug this into the wall. Nice little long cable on here before you get to the, the actual push button. Yes, you could probably use this as sequencing, but we want to use it for lights. Oh, hello. Oh, pretty. I, I do want to set these up properly. However, this is going to be an absolute nightmare to pack back away again. Let's see what happens. We've got, got flashy light. I'm thinking that that may be waiting to pair to something. Can I override? Oh, I can. Hey, look at that. Yeah. They are going around quite... This is the whole thing with this. We need a little setup video on this. It does... Ooh, ooh. That is, I like that. Do another button. It's like it's chasing it around. I'm gonna have to set these up somewhere. It didn't, ooh, didn't, re, ooh, yeah. Okay, so that back to the red, white, and blue. It's a very, with the, the actual opaque caps on them all, just kind of, it gives you the light. It just doesn't blind you with them. Because when we were at Christmas, we had blue and white lights around the tree. And to be honest, the blue is too blue and the white is far too white. But oh, the individual just, just chasing itself around. Right, I'm going to try my damnedest to set these up and get the app set up and see what I can do with these. 
So let me try and go through this with you. I'm trying not to install this, but it kind of finds it with the camera. So we have a QR code reader, most phones now, this is an S7, so it's a few year old. They, um, yeah, you want to scan the QR code, I have a QR code reader on this, the newer ones have it built into the camera. So, scan over, it's found the app, it's found Twinkly. I don't want that because that's an advert. I don't know who that was following. Um, yeah. So I'll open that one, so it'll open straight to the Twinkly website. Or is it to Google? Yeah, it's Google Play to install the app. Yes, yes. I don't know why it's showing keep fit stuff. I'm really not keeping fit. So it's, it's a decent um, 62 megabyte download. So we'll cut to that one when it's finished and installing. So opening the app brings out the Twinkly site there. Aye, okay, I need to log in or sign up. Yes, so I'll I'll sign up to an account. It's quite easy enough to do anyway. I'll just do it for, for me, so that's fine. Um, log in on Facebook, I could do it if I wanted, but create an account and we'll come back to this in a second. Now, once you've done that, it's now searching for the Twinkly Lights, which it's there. There we go. Generation, choose my one, which is definitely Generation 2. It says on the box. Yes, allow. I'm just hoping it doesn't come flashing up with my email address and name. If you wanted to get in touch or whatever, the email is in the channel description anyway. So if you want to get in touch, don't mind at all. So it's searching for the Twinkly device. Do I need to press that? No. No twinkly found. Try again. Right. Press and hold the button till the status light turns blue. There you go. Congratulations, you're connected. Home, office, Wi-Fi. What? Okay. Now, right, so I'll connect through my Wi-Fi to do this. So I can do this then anywhere I actually like. So let me put the password in for my um, Wi-Fi now and come back to you in a second. Now once you've set up on your Wi-Fi it'll ask you to, it's time to set up so I have to map the lights. Now what I want to do, what they actually want you probably to do is, is you don't have to have these on a tree, you can have these outside the front of the house, you can have these wrapped around your office or whatever but I need to map the lights which basically means stick these where they're going to go and then We'll start setting up where it'll take photos, it'll scan with the camera or whatever it is, and know exactly where each individual light is where I'm going to set it up. So, another quick cut here, and then we'll get on with putting these in here. I don't know where I'm going to put them in here. I'm quite, pretty packed in with stuff at the moment, but let's see what I can do and set these up a little bit. Now, <laughs> this isn't a Christmas tree. This is my little collection anyway of stuff. So I've wrapped as much of these 400 lights around all around here anyway. So let's see what happens when I start to map the lights. I have no idea what I'm doing on this but at least it shows. Right, it shows in their mapping tips, avoid reflections, um, sure moderate am yeah, ambient light, not too dark. Right, so map lights. It does show, it is showing a Christmas tree on here which Choose a mapping type, 2D. Allow. All right, start mapping. I'm hoping this works, to be honest. There's no guarantees, unfortunately, on this. Is this what you're supposed to do? It's not coming out with any clues whatsoever what I'm doing. I'm good apparently. Nope. Now I think I'll click back. Let me see about mapping this a little bit easier. Not quite sure. Oh, compiling effects for this device. Okay, hold on. Might not be done yet. Oh, okay. Brightness. Is that going to work anyway? No, power on. So it's showing on the app now. The twinkly lights. Power on, maybe? I'm hoping this works. 
Timer, nope. Uh, still compiling effects. Okay, they're going to take a little while to set up. Okay, so showing green light up there anyway, so at least it's paired, but I can't get it to actually do anything. Green light off again. So let me see what I've done wrong and get back to you in a second. Now, actually, I don't think I did anything wrong. I think I've just got the setting as it's about to go. So it's, I think it's now just transferring. It asks you for what pattern you want. And obviously it thinks it's a tree and it's not a tree, I know, but it is trying to look for something to try and give it the information I want for what lights are where. So the lights have turned themselves off. Wait for the app to figure out what it's doing. I mean, all being well, this should pop up and work. Whether it does or not, I don't know. Not really working, this, is it? Maybe we should get the tree out from the loft. That might be a better idea. Now, I've finally got round to getting this installed. It's not an easy install on your phone. For some reason, it, it doesn't seem to look right when it's on, or it doesn't really go right. But once you're paired up and you're done, it's all on the app. So all I've got at the moment is all the actual sample ones, the effects that you can get. Let's go for, I don't know, let's go for diagonal, blue and white diagonal. Now it comes up on the app. It does take a while. This is what gets me a little bit. It takes a while to go from there to the actual lights, but there they go. I mean, granted, this isn't a tree. Well, that's a triangle, but this isn't a tree. But you can see how it works. So I can apply that one and it will keep everything going on that, on that sequence. I'll go back. Let's go horizontal flag. So this is time worth with how long it's take to go to from the phone to that. And I don't know why it takes that long. So yeah, I should have, <clears throat> yeah. It's chasing around. It looks a little odd. The one that I actually quite like is, let's get out of that. I think it's the centre one, is it? Or is it the fourth one? Oh, I'm remapping lights again. Where is it? Ah, where well, is on here, the FX wizard. You press this one for all the lights, you know? See, this is the thing, it's not that easy to... Why has it done that again? Thank you. Can you, uh... Right. I'm thinking that's it. All off. So let's have a look. Let's pick a red. So you press and hold the bottom line. That shows you what the red is that you selected. I can go all across the here, keeping the finger down. That's what the colour I want. So I want the red, but then I'm going to draw a pattern. I'm going to colour this top bit in, in red. So that section over there is red. Blue. Again, if you hold it in place, just what exact shade, but you can change the shade of blue a little bit darker, lighter. I'm gonna do a line across here. There's some in the corner has been been done. I don't think you can see that one, so I'll do the other corner instead. Oh yeah, there's some over there. Where are the greens? Oh honestly, where are the greens? Okay, that doesn't make sense. Sparkle as well. You can have certain bits sparkling. There are the greens. There they go. So it's it's it is awkward, but I think once you get your sequence done and you're happy with it, oh, some more greens over there now. Huh? <laughs> it, it's it's strange. It's weird. It it doesn't. Uh, it isn't that easy to use. But like I say, as soon as you've got. If you enjoy this spot, let's have a go for what's moving blend. Hmm. I think the problem with it is I'm expecting it to be really quick and it's not. The receiver down there should receive it. There it is. So that's just doing the whole lot of different colors. And if you want to keep it on that, I'll press apply. 
and that saves it to that. And then that, that scrolling wheel, whatever it is, will go round and round and round for about 10 minutes, and eventually you get this switched on to the, the actual sequence you've just picked. But it just seems odd that it takes about five or six seconds to actually give you the sample of what you're supposed to do, and then it, it's, it's still going round. But also my timeout on my screen's going as well. But that's gone again. Has it sent it to it? Hmm. They're not as good as what I was hoping for. And see, even now it's not even showing that sequence. So is it confused itself? <sighs> no, here we go, we're on. Right, well, so we're on. It's nice, there's 400 LEDs on this, but the control box should be a lot quicker than this. I mean, that's very, that's very autumnal and it doesn't seem to move. Fixed, no. You can have this to go into music as well, probably to actual talking as well, I'm not quite certain. Will this work for music? I'm not gonna play music, I'm just gonna probably just talk and hopefully it'll come up with something. But my twinkle has gone offline as well. So, if you're getting one of these yourself, and these won't be on the tree until gone Christmas anyway, well, not concrete before Christmas. But if you've got a better way of doing this than I have, the twinkle is back now online. Is please put in the comments what I'm doing wrong. I mean, it's nice. I like this, but um, it's a bit odd that it doesn't seem to want to work properly. Or it does. I mean, I'm just waiting. Oh, there we go. We're on. When I, mean, I think on a tree, properly on a tree this would look better, but this is just an example for you guys to show you what these are. And I hope that, let's go vintage. I hope that it actually does look better on the tree. Maybe I'll do a quick little update video at Christmas. At the moment it isn't Christmas. So we'll have a look and see later on in the year. Ah, there goes my vintage. So they're doing different sequences as well, which is quite good. But I do like... I mean, you can save your own patterns. I do like the... colour your own stuff. Yeah, I've got blue, I've got the... Yeah, that looks quite interesting. Thin brush. Oh, it's thinning it out. I do like where it was the sparkly things. Yes. It's not showing the green. Come on, and you can save that with a tick to whatever name you want, and off you go. I'm not gonna sort that out at Christmas. Yay! That's fine, go do some shopping before then. So, anyway, let's wrap this up. They do work, it's just, hello? <laughs> Back on the white ones again. They do work and they do look pretty good, but it's just, the setting up could be a lot easier. So, yeah, let's get the camera back on the bench and let's wrap this up, shall we? Okay, we're back in the box on the bench. I defy anyone, anyone out there who's got a set of these 400 and actually wrap them exactly the way they came out of the box. I've even got that to fit in, the power supply, and they all fits inside here. <sighs> That's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> these are probably going to be, once we get around Christmas and all sorted and done, these will probably be in a box, not in this one, unless somebody would like to... Um, yeah, I have the patience of a saint to try and do these. But, hey-ho, they do work. They do work rather well. It's just me that's... I think it's me just being a little bit impatient with it. It's got to talk to the app. It's got to do things. It is absolutely amazing how you can individually control 400 LED lights from your phone. It's, it's, it's staggering how you can actually do it. So, it's... Yeah, they are good, and they're going to look really good on the trees. Like I said, these, they do look quite bright, but with the opaque top, it, it does dim things down a bit. They don't hurt your eyes as much. So that's quite nice. That's really good to see. And they are pretty... They are very weather weatherproof. I mean, there's a possibility it might leak down there if the lights are... Let's have a, let me skew it a little bit, shall we? Because inside here, yeah, you've got your heat shrinking stuff and your cables go down there, but there's a possibility water could get down and then start to corrode inside here. But these are pretty good anyway. 
but yeah, there we go. So that's the Twinkly, the Generation 2, 400 Special Edition RGBW app controlled lights. So I hope you enjoyed that. If it's convinced you to go get one on your own, please go get one on your own. Good luck, to be honest, because these sell out very, very quickly. And the stock on these are, yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty good. Actually, it also works with the, um, the, yeah, yeah, all right, fine, Alexa, or the Amazon Assistant, which is the other one or whatever. Also works in the App Store as well, and through the, yeah, the App Store for, for iPhones. I don't have an iPhone, but the Google Play Store as well. So it, it's covered all the bases, Bluetooth, as well as, Wi-Fi as well as direct Wi-Fi to this as well as indoor and outdoor ah, Yeah, not bad at all pretty much Stick them anywhere and with a black cable if you stick them on your walls if you're doing it outside and doing one certain pattern around outside It's not going to be seen. So that's really good indeed. So anyway, thanks for watching I hope that's helped you if you can help me as well get a little bit easier on in installation or whether or not it's just me being a bit slow fine please comment below please like and subscribe follow me on social media and i'll see you in another video bye for now And just for anybody who stuck around to pass the end of the video, it does fit, but um, yeah, barely. <laughs> I'm not the most patient at putting these things back in the boxes.